Hey, Luke here with CaptainCarb.com, and I get a lot of questions about what kind of rods and reels and nets I own. So I'm going to show you what's in my garage. So uh, let's open this bad boy up and give you a tour. Oh, I think I might have to clean it first. Oh boy, it's gonna take a while. Okay, don't judge me. I know this is gross, but you know, putting out this many YouTube videos each week comes at a price, and the price is I never clean my garage. So it's Labor Day weekend, and every Joe Schmo and their pet dog is in my fishing holes this weekend, so I'm like, I'm gonna clean the garage. So. I started about 10 a.m. and went past 8 p.m. and did a little time lapse here so you can see what it took.
got a little breathing room, let me show you my fishing rods. Now, I actually did an inventory to figure out how many fishing rods I own. And while I'm not 100% accurate on this number, after counting them, I believe I own 69 fishing rods and somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 fishing reels. So this is like a bucket of miscellaneous rods. I've got all the real cheap ones. I've got some telescopic crappie rods in there that are really fun for small carp. This is my bucket of rod holders and rod uh, sand spikes. Um, then my carp rods, my some surf rods back here, and some Daiwa Mission X, Fox Warrior S. I got a Okuma Centara surf rod. I think there's a lamb glass. Oh, there it is, the lamb glass surf king back there. Uh, an ugly stick back there. Um, got some uh, 100 pound class uh, shark rods. Uh, I've got a rod quiver. With, looks like I've got some Cabela's Mag Touch and some Chub Outcasts in there. I've got the Gardner Outreach landing net and the Fox Warrior S landing net back in there. Uh, here's my Daiwa rod holder. Oh, there's a uh, Prime Surf. Uh, it's a telescopic surf rod from Japan. And there's the Daiwa Liberty Club, another telescopic surf rod. Both of those are aluminum. 13-foot telescopic rod, German rod. This is from the Dam Company. This is the Quick Silt, Quick Silt reel, and uh, the Red Steel. You want to reel it? Okay. Uh, these are all Nash Scopes and Nash Dwarfs. Um, there we go. See, look, I do own a baitcaster. Yeah, that's a uh, Abel Garcia Revo inshore with a Cabela's uh, Mag Touch. I bought that combo after uh, with the money I got for writing an article for In Fisherman. So that was uh, it's a sentimental one. It's my Drennan 13 foot course. Course angling a rod with a Fluger Presidential. This is where I keep all of my telescopic Chinese carp rods uh, in here. I've got like five of them in there. It's a bunch of crappie poles too. Uh, I'll be showing those in another video here soon. Jeez, what else we got going on here? Uh, a St. Croix um, travel rod, a three piece. I've got a Fenwick two piece. Okay, up here I got my fly rods. I got Three, I got I own four fly rods, two sages, uh, a Fenwick, and then I've got a surf rod jammed in there in a case too. So um, I've got a four weight and a five weight uh, fly rod up there. And I've got my old 1980s or like 80 year old uh, 1930s uh, bamboo fly rod down there. Got an automatic reel that goes with it, it's pretty slick. It's my iPilot electric trolling motor for the boat. There's my son. He comes with me too. Uh, so this is where I keep all my reels that aren't on rods. So this is all just solid reels down in here. Extra spools and stuff too. I got three drawers of that. I've got a whole bunch of uh, Regal BRI bite and runs that are going to go with a, a set of Chinese telescopic rods that I just bought. I've got a Chinese uh, carp fishing set I'm putting together. And then I've got, um, what is that? Oh, a Shakespeare Contender, cool. And uh, I think I've got a fox floating around here somewhere. Yeah, sure enough. Got a Fox EOS 7000. Bought this in England. It's in a bite and run. Not too bad. Got to put that with the other ones. Yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of reels. I have way more reels than rods because usually I break more rods than reels. There's my Cabela's uh, telescopic landing net. Love that thing. Did a review on that. Here's my uh, Daiwa telescopic surf net with my Drennan coarse angling net screwed into the handle. Uh, we got an umbrella net and Somewhere over there I have three cast nets and a seine net and a crab net and a couple tele folding nets. 
Now up here are my, my bluegill traps and my crab pots. I've got two big size crab pots and a whole bunch of little pull pots. Got a keep net up at the very top there. And well, I cleaned very diligently. My workbench, my fishing gear bench is garbage. So that's that's another that's another whole day's worth of work. Holy crap! But this is all this is all pretty much fishing gear and electrical stuff for my boat project, and a few odds and ends. But it's pretty much all crap fishing gear. And this right here is my 12 foot game fisher with my 1985 9.8 mercury outboard. Yeah, this is, this is a sweet little boat. I got the trailer, the boat, the outboard, everything for $800 on Craigslist. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to, how to get a really nice cheap boat and pimp it out. That's a video I'm working on. I really like this little boat though. I was just gonna flip it and make a quick little profit on it but I kind of fell in love with it and my wife doesn't know I'm keeping it but we'll see uh, there's my other boat my Gilgetter 713 fishing cruise um, that's what I do a lot of my videos on and uh, I've got a couple kayaks floating around here too uh, there's one of my kayaks it's an old, old an old town tandem and I've got a pelican sit on top kayak sitting around here somewhere too Well, it took all day, but I did it. <laughs> it's clean. I, get, I have a boat. Apparently there was a boat in my garage. And, uh, whew. But anyway, I uh, hope you like seeing what was in my garage. And if you like this video, check out some of our other great videos, including a great playlist on how to catch catfish and a great playlist on all our videos about how to catch carp. So I, you see, don't forget to click subscribe for new videos every week. Thanks for watching.